The ending though. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, welcome back everyone. I, was, I just got done finishing that and I was like, holy shit, what's happening? Uh, so, anyway, I'm Miss Rox and I'm Miss Dilly Rambles. And this is, we're watching season one and we're watching the last episode, which is episode eight of The Defenders. And the episode is called The Defenders. So, uh, we start off with, they want to blow up the building, so, um, they have C4 and stuff. Uh, Luke Cage doesn't want to do this, but, um, but he eventually does agree to it, because they feel like it's the best thing to happen. And then Trish, uh, Walker, and Karen Page talk a little bit about how, um, special their friends are. <laughs> Because they don't say outright who they are, basically. So, they kind of um, tiptoe around that a little bit. But I do kind of like that interaction. I love how uh, they're trying to... They're crossing over the um, sub-characters as well. I really do like that interaction between everybody. And then, um, Matt detects a hidden door in the building. And so, Luke Cage just rips, rips it up like a little, little foil. And so, they go down into... Um, the area where the wall is or the door and then you have Claire and Colleen starts to plant the C4 and then Colleen Sensei comes up and so it's Colleen versus um, that guy and they are um, uh, they are literally taking like a it's not a chainsaw but it's one of those um, hand saws and they really sawing away the bones. So apparently it has the substance in it, apparently. And so they're dissecting it. And um, then we cut to Gal, talks to Danny. And it doesn't work. And so they hold him captive because they know people are coming down because they hear stuff. And so basically, um, it's Jessica, Luke Cage, and Matt Murdock are all going down. But they only see Jessica. Um, when they when the when it's them versus the hand, so she makes this like fake talk. Like I just want to talk to y'all, and then um, that doesn't happen, and everyone goes ham on everybody. But um, we see Daredevil and Luke Cage have like a jump start, just go flying at them, and then we cut off. <laughs> then we cut two. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself, <laughs> and so then we um. Then we cut to where Colleen is mad, and then, um, because they're trying to, um, because um, the sensei, her sensei is really, really taunting her. She's not having it. And so they, they keep fighting, but she saves Claire. Then Missy saves them. And then just all the fight scenes happening. Everyone's having a fight scene. Uh, Claire's having a fight scene, Colleen's having a fight scene, Missy's having a fight scene, Defenders are having a fight scene, it's just all the fight scenes all the time. Which is so cool. I really love it. And then... What do we got? <laughs> uh, the Iron Fist does some work. He literally punches one guy, but the reverb literally goes throughout everybody and knocks everyone down, which is so crazy. And then Missy interferes with Colleen because uh, she's about to have her head chopped off. But Missy enters the, the fight and she gets her entire arm chopped off. And then, then Colleen cuts off his head at that moment. And then uh, Matt tries to talk to Electra again. And then, um, that doesn't really work, and we cut to an elevator, elevator fight, because the defenders decide to leave, because they pretty much knocked out everybody else. And so, they do that, so, um, they, he, um, Danny says to, um, Iron Fist, like, please take care of my city, and that type of stuff, and just tries to help you out your out of senses, and that type of thing. But anyway, there's um, elevator fights because the people, the, there's still some people alive from the fight. They're trying to escape through the elevators, trying to take them out. And of course, you know, they're just, they're just throwing them off. Throwing them off because, like, they're super strong. So they're just, they're just, like, 
Bye. <laughs> except for Murdoch. That's only well, except for Iron Fist. <laughs> and so, um, the talking doesn't work. So Electra and Matt start fighting, and then um, they Matt tries to talk to her some more. That doesn't really work out. Then Jessica saves. Um, oh, so the the um, the elevator rope starts to break and Jessica does one for flying um you know she can she can't fly but she can like jump really high so she actually saves them and with the rope and stuff and so they finally get up there and they get out of the building and then so everyone gets out of the building except for the people really down below and the bomb goes off and then Elytra and Matt kiss and uh, right before the building crumbles, um, the Chinese guy kind of got impaled by a metal rod because he fell off. And then the gal says, this is the end. And then the building just crumbles down to the ground. And then, um, then we have them going back to the police station and... You know, you have what Cage goes in first, and then you have uh, Jessica, and then you have Iron Fist. And the only person that doesn't show up is Daredevil, as we assume he died in the, um, and when that happened. And so, um, Karen and Foggy are really torn up about it, so actually a really good scene that they just tore the hell up about it. And then on Tristan. Trish and Jessica talk when they're leaving. Then um, Foggy basically clears everybody. And um, he visits um, Claire and Cage at his apartment and basically just tells him, like, hey, everything's fine. Then Cage says to him, I'm sorry for your loss. And then um, Foggy does feel guilty. And then Claire and Foggy have, like, a little moment. And said he, he was going to do what he was going to do anyway. You couldn't have stopped him for it. And then give him a hug and they leave. And then we find out Missy is alive. And um, he's at, she's at basically dating Rand's own hospital. Oh, you can see my dog, can't you? Say hi. And so, um, so Danny is putting the bill for her. And then we cut to Jessica, who's getting super ass drunk at, the, at a bar. Then, um, Cage checks in with her, and so they have this little talk, and it's like, hey, like, if you need a friend, you have one in Harlem, which is kind of, like, a sweet moment, and she said, yeah, maybe we'll get coffee sometime or something, so, that's, then we have Danny meditating, then you have Colleen and Danny are talking, and he feels guilty as well, but he does say, um, NYC does feel more like home. Then Jessica gets home, and Malcolm is um, literally redoing the office. And um, so they're starting to gear up, this, starting to tease stuff up for the next few seasons. So that's kind of cool. And then Karen is at church, just praying. Then um, Foggy shows up, and they sit together. And then Karen is optimistic about um, Daredevil still being alive because they say in, uh, they're going through the rubble and they're not finding anybody really. And then we cut to um, Danny takes um, basically Daredevil's place and he's because at first I thought it was, um, Daredevil I thought it was Matt Murdock actually still being alive. Then I saw the fist glow. I was like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> And then we found out um, that he is, in fact, still alive, and he's at some monastery or some church, like, heavily, heavily injured, but he's still alive, and he does wake up, and they say to go get Maggie. And that's the end of this series so far. That's the end of season one. Uh, let me just say something. Great season. Like, really really great season i thoroughly enjoy the season so much i'm gonna give this episode again an a plus and that'll be a literally an a plus episode it was so freaking good i really liked it a lot so everything about it was good and i, I want to know who maggie is i think i 
I, like I said, I don't read the comments, so I won't know. But if y'all want to let me know in the comment section down below, that would be super helpful. And so I'm very excited where all the seasons will be um, for next for all the next seasons. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with that because you, know, you have all these character developments happening. And I think it's probably the longest time um, ever that Jessica Jones has not had a drink. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Basically, and so I'm very excited to see where things are will be happening, and I'm just super excited about it. So, um, if you like this episode, if you like this, what I did, um, if you like this video, not this episode, uh, please give it a like and comment down below what you think of the episode. Did you like, dislike it? We want me to react to next because I do have a bunch of other stuff that I'm having to work, so I'm trying to get done as well. And then just subscribe for more stuff coming up. So, I'll see you on my next video, and I want y'all to have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.